are back again today with our Pokemon White Randomized Nuzlocke Challenge. And I had something to say, but I forgot. Uh, we are here today in a city of the name I don't remember. I don't know how people on YouTube remember the names of these cities and things like that. I mean, I guess they've played through every game like ten times. Uh, but uh, I did some grinding off camera. And I think it is normally... Um, the, the correct etiquette is to do a time lapse or a grinding montage, but it honestly only took me like five minutes. No one died. Uh, I did run into a Dialga in the last route though. I actually ran into two. The first one let me run, the next one didn't let me run, and it scary faced me and then let me run. So I don't really fully know what type it is. I might have been able to kill it with Ryoku uh, with a Pursuit if it's Psychic, but uh, Dialga to me in my mind is just kind of wreck your shop type and so I thought I don't want to get Roar timed and I just kept running from him so we uh, I'm gonna switch some of these around because we got everyone up to at least level 10 uh, and no one learned any new moves but I'm gonna swap these two around uh, so we have Ryoku the Scizor level 13 we have Flarp level 10 Ronald level 10 and Ma level 10 so that we're doing pretty good pretty good pretty good uh, I am going to heal up before I get started. Uh, you, I, you know, I, was, I wasn't I was actually going to do even as much grinding as I did, but I thought, like, we did recently battle Bianca again, so that means a Sharon fight must be coming up soon, so I really need to get Ronald up real right quick. So, you know, maybe I should put him back in the front of the party again, because he's, he's still just rocking an Icicle Spear. And that will not one-hit a, a Hydreigon. So let's... uh. Let's put her on the back there, you know? I'm, uh... I'm, I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna... I'm gonna put Ronald out front again. That sounds like the best idea to me, because we know it's coming. We know it's coming. Uh, then, uh, here we go. Still getting used to the button, sorry. Uh, so we healed everybody up, and we are good to go. Uh, I do have money now. I should buy more Pokeballs. I, it's like, you know, I wanna... I want to buy more potions, but potions only heal 20, so until we get super potions, I think 5 will be just fine. Uh, and it looks like I just barely don't have enough for another Premier Ball, so I'm actually going to not do that yet. And last episode, we went that way already, and there wasn't anything there, so we have to go find the trainer school, which that guy wouldn't tell us where, where it is. It's probably this one right here, to be honest. I, I, you know, I should have just been a little bit more observant. I could talk to all these people, but when has a trainer school ever given you items? When a Pokemon is poisoned, its HP decreases while it's in battle. Hey, Raska. Have you come looking for the gym leader? Well, yes. He was here talking about Pokemon types until just moments ago. Maybe you walked right past him. By the way, Raska, will you have a battle with me? Heck no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> No. I'll just wait here until you decide you're ready. No, I'm not ready. I, I don't want to lose yet. I'm not ready. Got a headache just thinking about that. What's in here? Who wants to give me... Lately, I have a favorite model. That's a weird thing to start a conversation with a new stranger with. And I didn't mean to talk to you twice. I don't want to hear about your favorite model. It's weird. You can tell how strong they are by the number of gym badges that I have. Hey! None. The GTS is not a thing that I have to worry about on here because uh, I don't have the GTS on here. Well, what do you have to say, good sir? I've only trained only fire-type Pokemon because they're my favorites. They have no chance of water types, so maybe I should try other Pokemon types. You are right about that, good sir. Unless you get a Typhlosion, then you can learn Thunder Punch and take care of that real quick. Uh, it's quite hard to train six Pokemon at once. I've heard some trainers focus on training three Pokemon at a time. I, you know, in in the Pokemon world, that makes sense. In a world with EXP share, that doesn't make sense. I don't have it yet, but I'm hoping I'm going to get it. Uh, there's an item back there. Hey, what's what's uh, the item? Let's go check out the item. Oh, not from that way, I won't. Here we go. 
Big root. Yay, I have the items randomized too, so I never know what I'm going to get. And every single one of them is worth checking out. And this... Alright, nothing there. So I'm going to see if I can head on to the next route, get another encounter, and uh, see if I can do some more training a little bit. Oh, I was hoping that was a patch of grass, but, but, but that's just a bush. I can't surf. I can get this item. Power herb. Why is that even a thing? I think it like it heals your Pokemon, but makes them hate you or something. I don't like the sound of that. That guy's gonna stop me if I try and proceed, so I can't do that. I don't know why I remember that actually. Uh, do you battle? Do you know how technical machines work? Yep. Uh, so is he really gonna stop me? Yeah. Oh, you don't seem to have any gym badges. With your lack of experience, you'll have a hard time in the future. Thanks. Here's some friendly advice. Challenge a gym leader in this town and test your ability. Well, my friend wants to battle me first, and he is going to wreck shop. He is going to destroy me. I guess I, I, guess I don't have a choice. So I know that uh, if he's anything like Bianca, he's not going to start out with his starter, so I'm going to switch out Ronald to, uh, let's, let's give Ma a chance. What, what, what does Ma have? What moves you rocking? Uh, so it's Water Dark, and I have Bite and Rage. So I have one, one stab move being Bite. But I guess if I if I go if I think about it, uh, I'll be able to get a bite or two off on whatever the first Pokemon is, and uh, if I need to switch into something that can take a hit, then that would be Ryoku. I'd rather have to switch into Ryoku to take a hit than switch into one of these newbies, and uh, and then you know have that get killed in one shot anyway. So I did get an answer back from the Takadaroba of. Uh, I, I set up the challenge to not have uh, Dragon Rage at the start of the game, and is doing it anyway. And so we came up with the 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 rule where if my Pokemon has less than 40 hit points when I go into battle against the Dragon Rage user, if it gets O code by the by the Dragon Rage, that uh that doesn't count. Is that okay? I hope it's okay. Because that's what I've got to do. And I think I have... I think just one of my Pokemon... Oh, right answer. I didn't know he was asking me a question. Which of the following items wakes up a sleeping Pokemon? Awakening. Hey, I got something. Full heal. Oh, boy. Um, full heal does exactly what the name does. Unless you think it's going to fully heal your hit points. In case it doesn't do that. All right, sure. And I'm ready. Oh, Raskun, will you have a battle with me? He's he's old and British now. Wants to test how important items are in battles. You better be using a ton of them. Well, let's see how effective my items are. Or maybe I should test how well I can battle without items. That's probably what he's going to do. Anyway, in an indoor match, this is an indoor match. Let's battle without getting too rough. Says the guy with the dragon. Crystal, hi. You are challenged by Engineer Crystal. They're both engineers. I guess anything that was like rival or friend or something was hi. You know what? You're you're psychic fighting, aren't you? Psychic fighting? I got a bite for you. I got a bite for you. I'm about to take a bite out of you. Ugh. Not very effective. He's not psychic. This is bad. That's bad. That's that doesn't help. Moves that never miss and moves that can attack first. There sure are a lot of different moves. Well, rage. What did I make my select button? Because I really want to. What? You no, know, if I click on it, that just uses it. So. Let's pause back button so 
what did it just use on me? It used... I don't remember what it used on me. Well, okay, so... Ice is not the answer. Bug is also not the answer. Using a steel type on that will not do much damage. So I would only have pursuit, which is not very effective, and quick attack. So Flarp only has pound and mud slap or mud sling or whatever. I feel like Flarp will take a hit pretty easily. And I can poison. Okay, Flarp, come out here. Used Metal Claw, that's what they use on me. So how much is that going to do against Flarp? Not so bad. I'm going to get that poison off because I'm unsure what to do right now. This is... Doesn't affect what? Oh, no. Okay, keep doing that, please. Uh, so... I'm just poisoned, so let's try a ground. Oh boy, detect. I mean, keep doing that. Don't just don't hurt me. <laughs> don't hurt me. <laughs> don't hurt me. The double protect. You want to go for a third? Shouldn't be able to land a third. There we go. Come on, damage. Come on, damage. It's something. It's super effective. It's just ooh, accuracy. Well, that's not bad. If I can lower its accuracy one or two more times, that's not bad. Does it do that every time? Super effective. Yeah! It's almost dead now. I wish I got the poison off. What you doing? Using an orange berry, of course. Ha ha! Got the strats. <laughs> Uh, you'll never be able to hit me now. And proceeds to hit me. I think I can live another one. No. You're just prolonging the inevitable. Just wasting my PP. Wasting my PP. Protected itself with what though? How? So I don't know if I need to pot up here. Oh, ouch. I thought you would miss. Hey, Flarp. Another mud slap is not going to not going to kill. A potion would heal me to 21. So I think we're safe to use a potion right now. Because if I switch, Metal Claw is Steel, which wouldn't be very effective against Ryoku. I I think I have a better chance switching switching into Ryoku. So let's go back and switch to Ryoku-chan. Let's hit the right button this time, though. And you save Ronald for that next one coming out. If Ronald dies to to Hydreigon, I don't remember if uh, Hydre or if Ronald has more than forty hit points right now or not. Um, so I should. So pursuit's not going to be very effective. Bullet punch is at least stab. So let's do that. Uh, knock him out! Knock him out! Yeah! Yeah, brother! Bone saws ready. Crystal's about to send in High Dragon! High Dragon! Oh boy, um. It's gonna be about level 10 to 12, I think. Vanillish is level 10. Uh, dragons are weak against fairy, dragon, and ice. So Ryoku doesn't have anything but 
levels on this thing. A hard switch might kill vanilla. So let's let's. I'm more likely to do a hard switch into Ryoku than hard switch into Ronald. So let's get Ronald out here and hope that I get a four hit on this icicle spear and can live a hit and then get another four. This is it, boyos. Okay, I have 30 hit points. So if I get Dragon Raged right here, it's important to choose which item your Pokemon holds. I don't have any items, so I do. But... So if I get O-Code here by Dragon Rage, I am thinking about not letting that count because that's not fair for the lock. And uh, the only thing I really could have done to stop it is to choose Hydreigon as my starter. But can you imagine how broken that would be if I was running around just one-shotting everything? So, you know, it's it's a gray area, and I, I promise you, I pressed that button in in the, the randomizer here that says, uh, what does it say? It says, no game-breaking moves. Checking this box will stop moves that can break early, late games being available in randomized movesets. Uh... In second generation onwards, only Sonic Boom and Dragon Rage are banned. And what is it using? Dragon Rage! So I had that selected both times, and it's still using Dragon Rage. So. Go. Cool. You use Bite. That was half my health. Oh boy! Question is now do I. Taking down the dragon with the McDonald's ice cream cone. Yeah. <laughs> that was a lot easier than I thought, to be honest. Oh, Ronald. You saved me. <laughs> Ronald. Ronald M. Donald. Listening to you means that I still have a lot to learn. I just thank you for using Bite, man. You, you kept this, this playthrough the way it's supposed to. So learning to use items well is definitely important then. Oh, here, Razgun. I'll give you these berries. Oh, boy. That Not not going to lie, that might actually be helpful right now. If you give a Pokemon this kind of berry to hold, it will eat it to heal up when its HP goes down in battle. But if you give Pokemon man-made items like potions to hold, they can't use them. Because they don't have thumbs. Well, good luck then. Name a Pokemon that has thumbs. Go, in the comments. Don't spend more than 30 seconds thinking about it. Name a Pokemon that has thumbs. And I'm, while you're doing that, I am going to go ahead and give some of those berries to my Pokemans. Uh, Pokemon that has thumbs, I am thinking maybe Apom, but I'm not certain. Empty Oron Berry. He gave me three. So, uh, Ronald needs this. Because he's just an ice cream cone. I mean, you, you drop the thing and it's it's dead. I'm going to give it to Ryoku because I think these are used up once they actually use it. And then, Flarp is my tank. And honestly, I'm thankful that Flarp is still alive. Lived on one. And before we even come close to figuring out where that gym leader's at, we better go heal. I bet that, yeah, there he is. Oh, it's that green-haired dude. So I set a timer on my phone to let me know when this episode would be over. And then I put headphones on. So I can just imagine, like, in the audio for, for this, you're just hearing, like, an alarm go off in the background and I can't hear it. That's totally not happening. Yeah, that's not happening. It's on the floor behind me right now because they had to be plugged in. So we actually made it past our first Sharon encounter. And so that means I am going to save. Boop. There we go. And so what happens versus the like emulator saving versus this in-game saving? What does that do? All right, did it. Get that mouse off of there. Yes, yes, I am the gym leader of this town. You are? Right, you want to challenge the gym. In that case, what was the first Pokemon you chose? 
Oshawott? I mean, Scizor. I see. It's weak against grass-type Pokemon. I think you need to prepare to face that type. I'll be waiting for you inside. Is that, like, him saying that he's going to use grass-types? It's randomized, so it doesn't matter. Oh, hi, champ in the making. Hello, I'm Clyde. I'm the guide for trainers challenging a Pokemon gym. We appreciate your challenging the gym. Take this to commemorate the occasion. Is that a bottle of water? Fresh water. I think that's like 100 points of hit points. Uh, cashier lady, what's up? Welcome. We are proud of our menu, which we adjusted to suit each trainer. Oh, it's a, it's a, like a diner themed area. Uh, so there is fire on there. I think that means I have to step on water. Doo -doo. Gym battle? Or not gym battle, but, you know, trainer battle? You might need this right now. Welcome to Stradion City Gym. Care for a taste of battle? I'll serve up the first course. So regardless of when that timer goes off, I think I'm going to get right up to the gym leader, and then we'll fight the gym leader in the next episode. Sent out mining. Nice and mining. I always like plus one mine. I know people think they're garbage, and they kind of are. But uh, growing up with just one brother, um, anytime we played a game... Uh, where's Rachel? Why is Ma out front? Oh, because of the Sharon battle. Anytime we played a game, he was always first player because he was the older brother, and I was second player. Um, and so he was always the blue character, and I was always the red character. That's how it just kind of seemed to go in most games. And uh, so I think that's part of the reason why I really like red. Um, and I, I kind of wonder if that's why he likes blue so much. And so I just kind of thought that plus one mining were really cool Pokemon because they're kind of Pikachu except cooler, and they're red and blue. So, in my opinion, plus old much better than Pikachu. Although Pikachu can be more powerful. Uh, I have had a level 100 plus old before. I didn't get it to level 100 myself. I actually got it through Wonder Trade. Um, on Sun and Moon, and it was level 100 and it was shiny, which just made it a darker red. It was legit. Very legit. And so I hear my phone going off the background, but I'm going to wait on that for just a moment, because there's not a whole lot longer to go in this. I needed to have the sound on in case I got a phone call, which is somewhat possible. But, uh, What's to learn scary face? Uh, does, is that the one that makes it so things can't run away? The user frightens the target. Scary face. Harshly, yeah, that's not the one. I must be thinking of something else. Uh, mean look, that's what it is. Ma wants to uh, just let, let me go. Let me go. Ma did not learn scary face. And I'll be honest, I'm excited about Ma right now, but uh, it's not a Sharpedo, so I need to look up how to make it a Sharpedo, or at what level it becomes a Sharpedo. I did set it up to uh, force evolutions. Who am I? Yeah, no. Let's put Ronald out front, because he, he still needs some attention. I have it set up for force evolution to where everything gets its last evolution by level 40. And also things that evolve by trades. I don't know if it's going to work. I just saw the button for it that things that evolve by trades will uh, will also level up at some point in that time. Don't know when, but kind of a nice feature. So if we get that, that thing you always see about... Uh, Someone catching an Abra and being excited about it and being like, "Oh man, it can only be a Kadabra because I can't trade it." Hopefully, we'll fix that and then we can have an Alakazam. Doctor Chloe sends out Rotom. Good old Rotom. Electric type. See, this is I don't know, like, when you put ice and electric, like, how am I supposed to know who wins that fight? Let's go ahead and hey, I was about to use that, but I decided to use a. Oh, there's the alarm. I'll turn that off so you're not hearing it. Um, I was about to use that. But I wanted to see how much Icicle Spear would do, and it looks like not bad at amount. 
Does Uproar get more powerful as it goes on? I hope not. It is, oh, Orenberry. Thanks, Sharon. Thanks for sharing. We did it. Was that your only Pokemon? I wasn't looking. Level 12. Ronald McD. Uh, Iggly buff. I'm going to keep battling. And if your first hit hurts me too much, I'm leaving. Oh, it's the baby one. I, I was thinking Wiggly Tough for some reason. Get up out! Yeah! Little baby bomb. Only hit two times. See, you could have hit a third and, you know. Aww, look at it. My, uh, my attack harshly fell. Okay, I, I, the phone charged a little bit, so I should be able to take that back now. And... Dr. Chloe, defeated. And in this next one, use fire. Is that the gym leader, or do I gotta battle one more? And that's the gym leader. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you in the next one, and we can see if I will get demolished by him or not. I am so glad we made it through that first Sharon fight. Um, so glad. I was terrified. It's going to be really scary. I think that's another good reason for me to choose Suzor as uh, my, my starter, is because uh, I had to put up with that. This terrifying thing that can come out of nowhere and wreck me. Have a good one. Bye-bye.